Uh, with that said, but besides the point, besides the point, uh, I'm trying to really get into this uh, uh, playoff spirit. Uh, I might have screwed up. Okay, when I say I screwed up, uh, I don't think I really screwed up. Uh, when I pulled for the Cincinnati Bengals, I don't know if you remember that, I was not afraid of the Ravens uh, coming to New England, but I did not want the Ravens to come into New England uh, because they had the record, even the, um, I guess uh, with Flacco, as much as I don't like him. All right, so they did really good. They stomped us, New England, and not the, not just once. All right, so I did not want them to come to New England. That's why I was pulling for the Bengals. But by doing so, we allowed the uh, the Buffaloes to get in. Uh, so now. Today and tomorrow, there's uh, two wild card games, and uh, I am seriously, seriously, I overlooked the fact. Oh, the Chiefs! Ah, oh, it's coming on. Uh, the Chiefs has the ability because they're. You got to remember, high altitude, cold weather. They can stump us. Not that they will, because I think Alex Smith is probably his last year, or um. I don't know if he's trying to get a new contract. And there's a, a rumor now in the New England camp of this score. So we rebuke that. Amen. In Jesus' name between uh, Bill Belichick. Of course, Tom Brady, it's a little diva. After 18, 19 years, you have to understand. At first, we have to remember our roots, Brady, that you are humble, a little nobody, the 99th pick. I, I'm not trying to put you down. All I know, all I'm saying is because the Herrera thing, uh, if you didn't know, that we have a, a so-called like a coach and a quarterback uh, struggle. And that's not good. That's not from the Lord. So what happened is uh, Tom Brady insists on this guy, Guerrero. I don't know, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, I want my own nutritionist and supposed to be a trainer or nutritionist that Guer Guerrero was traveling with the team on a team dollar or whatever. Um, so some players, you know, people are jealous and they complain. They say, oh, Guerrero is taking over uh, as if he was the team position, a uh, physician, so that um, because he's on the sideline, you know, he's got special privilege because he's Tom Brady's personal trainer or nutritionist or blah blah blah. I mean he's doing a good job. But Bill Belichick, you know how he is. He's like uh uh you know, don't mess with me man. He's everything gold. Uh that's fine. It had worked all this time. It seemed like they had a great relationship. But Belichick banned this guy Guerrero from the sideline and took it a privilege and that made Tom Brady feel uh, like, you know, hey, wait a minute, uh, I'm the five-time Super Bowl champion. So let's like calm down, back off, Buckwheats, back off, all right? Play off, get it together, and uh, I smite these rumors saying that this is the last year of uh, everybody Brady and the last year of Belichick. I say, stop the squabbling within the Patriot camp because the enemy love to sow discord just like in our country they want to sow this discord that's why they flood you in with the fucking criminals uh, we want that wall okay no DACA you understand you understand it's not oh these children came here they're not children through no fault of theirs that's bullshit your people broke the law you broke into our country and you have to get out and do not try to benefit. If you make them citizens, you listen to me, Republicans. Don't make people illegal here. It's not about, oh, these people are nice or whatever. They're going to receive welfare and they're going to vote. And they're going to vote you out of office and we're going to be communistic controlled. And this is what uh, I don't want to say fearful. We don't want because uh, NRA is bringing a lawsuit against California for uh, now forbidding you regular citizens they tax the shit out of you and now they forbid you to buy arms they forbid you to buy ammunition seriously they want you to pay a fee now to buy any shell 223 or whatever uh my uh, my friend my good friend sullivan uh actually they were smart uh i think he got a lot of uh, good deals from cabela uh, right before December the 31st, like, you know, whatever, the Magnum, the 223s, you got to stock up because 
they're gonna make it California demo rats that you're not able to defend yourselves and they're not gonna come to your aid if a fucking seriously if they invade your homes if the the uh, so-called uh, uh, intruders illegal I hate to keep using that word aliens uh, they are it's not undocumented don't be brainwashed by their their uh, terms because if you start talking their terms and you already fall for their scheme so called undocumented is just basically oh I'm missing a piece of paper that's bullshit <laughs> because I don't have undocumented intruders in my home and take away demand and they freaking stab you they demand everything and they say well we're gonna bring our children now you gotta get out of your house just imagine that if that happens to your household if someone of course yeah, you could be kind. Someone who said, "Oh, well, I need to come in here. Give me a cup of water and give me some food, and and uh, I'll be content just sleep outside." But then, you know, they get so bored because the, all these politicians says, "Oh, no, no, no. He deserves a place in your house. You gotta give him a room. You gotta give him board." And not only that, you have to allow him to bring one, six, seven, eight children. And not only that, grandchildren, uncles, and brothers, and and the villagers. You know, there be like hundreds of them They're in your house. <laughs> well, you better not say no, because if you say no, you're fucking racist. We're going to kick you out of your house and give them your house. Uh, basically, that's what's happening in our land. I just, like, for the really life of me, I don't understand why people go for this stuff. And uh, why don't they see that how, seriously, Trump is just a human being. It's the idea behind Trump is what they hate. That's why they hate Trump. Uh, because they were so brainwashed. I'm talking about our MSM. So we cast down those brainwashing spirits in Jesus' name in our education system. Because uh, nobody's talking about it. The Dow is up 25,000 points. I don't know what that means. I'm sure Brian Erskine, my financial friend, knows what it means. Uh, so Dow is up, meaning stock is going through the roof. Job is going through the roof. And that's what we need. Jobs are going through the roofs, real jobs, not the freaking phony Obama by saying the jobs that they did not lo lose or the governmental jobs that we don't cannot pay for because every one of them, I mean, I know some of them are good doing their good jobs, but you're being polluted by the ones that they bring in, uh, all these people that can't do anything. I'm serious, uh, you know, uh, uh, when I went to some of the government agencies, some of these people are just like really brain dead. They just want to tell you, um, they're, they're, yeah, they're pro pro probably just more SJWs. Uh, they want to tell you what you ought to do and follow, obey orders. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's the way that you want to live. Uh, uh, okay, go back to the games. So now we need, what? Thank you, Tennessee to win out where? <laughs> In, Kansas City, uh, I, you know, I don't want to be wishful thinking. I know it's kind of hard. Uh, the line even says that it's like five and a half. Um, you know, <laughs> I have to be honest. Uh, wh whatever the line says, right? There's, there's the way that study of Mariota is supposed to be good, but Tennessee is a more of a warm weather team. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm just saying you got to go all out. You cannot make any mistakes, and uh, I'm sure they can contain Tyree Hill. Uh, then we have a chance because we do not want Kansas City to come into New England. You understand? Uh, uh, I don't want to, you know, just uh, be sort of a pessimistic, optimistic. I'm just saying the game is starting, so I'm ah, a little concerned. All right, so let's see. Tennessee, Tennessee, and tomorrow I'm, 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 I'm thinking about the AFC, of course. Uh, the Buffalo, uh, I think that would be... It eliminated by Jacksonville just uh, because Jacksonville is a good team and you're gonna play in uh, uh, humid weather hopefully it's still humid not bomb cyclone weather uh, Bortos and uh, Jacksonville go I remember when Tom Coughlin was the uh, Jacksonville and uh, uh, I can't believe that now it's it's been so many years <laughs> so things have changed um, but Let's, let's do it, okay? Jacksonville tomorrow, Sunday, and uh, today, of course, uh, I'm rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, that's, that's, I guess that's it. And, you know, people want to talk about, like, the Saints and all that kind of stuff. I don't think they're the same team. The Falcons are not the same anymore. 
so uh, I don't think the falcons are going to go all the way and that's really sad uh, because Drew Brees is a good quarterback. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you later.